Is this good? Okay. Uh, well, yeah, you know, I, I first heard of an organization that was um, helping people in places like Africa get to schools and hospitals, and I thought, man, I, I want to be a part of that. And then they told me that they were using Buffalo to do it, and that's when I knew I got to get involved. I got Big Hank when he was just a wee little buff, and God, he was so dang cute. Uh, I knew I just had to have him, and he was he was getting to be too big for the animal shelter anyway. So you think you're not tough enough for this business? Um, yeah, I took him in, and he and Goldie bonded uh, so well, and we would go on rides um, in the convertible. They loved it. The wind blowing through Hank's hair. <laughs> but uh, it was just getting to be too much even for, for us to handle. And so that's when I knew um, this is going to be a perfect fit. My friend that had told me about this organization uh, has said that they were headquartered out of Chicago. So I thought, okay, yeah, I guess we can get Big Hank to Chicago. I didn't really know <laughs> how they get him from there to, I guess, Africa. Think how dangerous it was. I, but that's their problem. So, yeah, we got we got him uh, loaded up and um, and headed over to to Chicago and. Um, Hank had never been to the city before, so that was pretty cool. And we pulled up, and the address that that, uh, the, that I had was in the city building. And I mean, I double checked it, but it had a picture of a of a bicycle, and but it it said World Bicycle Relief. So I thought, well, I'm probably in the right place, you know. And uh, I told Hank stay in the car. Goldie was there. She usually keeps him, keeps him uh, under control. And I went in and, uh, and I asked, hey, is this where the Buffalo Relief Organization is? And they kind of, they kind of looked at me funny. And that's when I knew that uh, I think, I think I had a little misinformation <laughs> on what what this was about and and sure enough it turned out it was uh, world bicycle relief and so I asked him I said well what's the deal with Buffalo and they said that the bikes that they make like in Africa and I found out when I got there it was also like Peru and Colombia and Thailand and all over um, are, are called buffalo bicycles because they assemble them there. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, I mean, I guess that's pretty cool. But, you know, here I was, had already um, began the emotional separation from, from Big Hank. But I think a part of me was, was actually kind of relieved that um, I wasn't going to have to part with him.